Welcome to Wollongong. How are you finding it so far? Uh, I find it real nice. It's kind of like home, you know, sun out. So yeah, it's nice. What are some of the, I guess, differences or what are the things you've noticed about Wollongong so far compared to home? Uh, it's winter and usually at home it's summer. So right now it's winter, but I heard next month it's going to be summer. So yeah. <laughs> And you've had a chance to meet your teammates. I know you've been out having some dinners and going to Outback Steakhouse and spotted around town. Oh yeah, my dad just came in. I was at a uh, steakhouse with my dad. Yeah. How's LeVar liking Wollongong? Uh, he just got here, I think, yesterday. So I, I really ain't asked him yet, but he, he said he liked it. So. What do you think of the beaches here? I ain't been to the beach yet. <laughs> er everybody say it's nice though. So you've had a chance to meet some of your teammates. Um, what's that been like jumping on the court and playing alongside a few of these boys? Yeah, uh, real nice guys. I've got a good chemistry with them already. I feel like everybody is like they want to win, so it's just all love around here. I guess that's your objective coming down here, NBA draft and, and, and winning games down here. Yes, most definitely. Have you already noticed the, the change in, of intensity from, say, the Drew League to even just training with these NBL guys? Oh, yeah, everybody train hard. It's just, it seems like a winning culture over here, so that's what we want to do, and yeah. But like, can you talk us through the decision to, to forego college and to come and, and be part of this program? What sort of went into your thought process to make that decision? Uh, just most overall, I felt it was best for me. You know, college, just a little different route, but... I uh, looked over this and then it just fitted me the best, so yeah. Have you dealt with people doubting the decision or wondering, you know why, because there's some people that are, obviously have that, that opinion that college is still the best? Uh, uh, I really just talked between my family, so they all liked it, so yeah. And um, coming down here, do you feel like you're going to have a target on your back, I guess, in, in the games? Uh, yeah, it should always be a target, you know, every time you go out you want to win, the other player want to go hard, I want to go hard, so yeah. But what has, uh, I guess, Flinny's had a chat to you about the style of play down here? They always call it quite physical, um, I guess, as an almost 18-year-old now. Do you feel like you've got to step up physically to, to compete in the league? Oh, yeah, most definitely, but uh, love coach, you know, he like, he like playing fast. I like playing fast, so it's just both we fit together, so it's good. Have there been any teammates in particular that have taken you under the wing, whether that be uh, on court or all, even all just the, away Actually, from the all court? the teammates. Everybody, like, talk. Everybody want to hang out. So it's just, like, all a great bond. You feel me? Can I ask what drew you to join the Hawks in the first place? Well, what did you to say? Join the NBL and the Hawks in the first place. Uh, it was the best fit team. Coach was good, and just I got here and I love it. So yeah. So what's a plan for you? You sorry, Jen, I was just going to say in terms of your lifestyle. I know you're staying at one of the hotels in town yeah. at the moment. You've got a unit set up. What's what's the plan for the next few months? Uh, just staying in a little apartment. It's a nice little apartment. That's so cool. That's you and Jermaine staying there, or yeah, yeah. You do turn 18 tomorrow, isn't it? Right. What's your plans for the birthday? Uh, I think I'm going to Melbourne to watch the USA game. Melo, what do you think you'll get out of working with a guy like Aaron Brooks when he arrives? Is that someone you're keen and excited to be making? Yeah, most life? definitely. You know, he's been in the league, you know, a lot. Probably going to teach me a lot. So, yeah, I'm just excited. Are you keen to get away from the cameras and get away from the attention down here in Wollongong? Is that, is that the plan? Uh, pretty much, no, nah, I'm just here to play basketball. That's mostly me, just basketball. What's it, I guess, what's it like walking around in Wollongong compared to walking around in, in America and LA? Not gonna lie, it's kind of the same, but everybody out here nice, you know, they all want pictures and stuff, so taking a couple pictures. Is it the same amount of attention or less here? The same. The same? Yeah. Some pretty big fans down under. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Flinny, how have you found, obviously with the men out here and integrating into the team, I know you've said before, it's a deep roster, there's a lot in the backcourt. Um, have you had an approach to the puzzle piece that your backcourt rotation is going to be? Yeah, look, we're, uh, everyone's, everyone's ripping in and, and we do. We have a youthful team, so Lamello coming in certainly fits that ethos. Um, as he alluded to before, you know, everyone trains hard and, and Lamello trains hard. And for me at the defensive end, you know, is where, you know, he's really, you know, putting his time in as well. So, um, Certainly, that bodes, it's going to bode well for our team and our young guys, and, and we've got a great group of people here, and we've got great culture. So um, you know, it was a no-brainer for us. Um, what's impressed me so far is his willingness to pass, and, and to really that adds to chemistry, and that's really fun to play with, you know. So um, definitely going to have some headaches because we've got a lot of talent on this squad, um, but you know we're all going to be true to ourselves, and we're going to we're going to play hard and. Uh, this is a marathon, this league, not a sprint race. So we're going to evolve as a team, and you know we're we're certainly going to we're going to turn some heads. But at the same time, we do know that we are starting at the bottom, and we've got some work to do. But the competitiveness of the guys we've put together so far has been really pleasing.
Flinney, do you see it as a baptism by fire your first year as a head coach and all of a sudden the Hawks are this global brand and, and all eyes are on the Hawks? Yeah, look, not really. Um, and Melo and I have had chats about, you know, my job is to coach the team. His job is to come out and play and get better and, and all the, the stuff surrounding that, you know, that is what it is and that's going to be natural and, that, and that's great for the league and, you know, our club and the NBL have done great with this Next Stars program. But we just keep it between the lines. So when he comes into practice, that we're just all about basketball development. That's my passion. That's his passion to get better. So, you know, it's really a match made in heaven. And Lamelo aside, the, the Hawks went from, I think, um, last in terms of uh, the championship favouritism to a, now, now sort of knocking on the door with Sydney, Perth and Melbourne. Do you see pressure to perform just as a whole, as a whole unit? Well, I haven't heard those rankings, but um, look, there is always accountability and pressure when you coach and play at this level. You know, this league is, you know, second, third, you know, outside of the NBA, it's one of the best leagues in the world. Um, so, yeah, there's always going to be pressure, pressure to perform. There's no question about that. But I think the expectations we have on ourselves are going to be higher than um, any external pressure can put on us. Melo, I know the Next Stars program has been popular for yourself. Have you had any mates back over home in America also considering the Next Stars program? Are, are more players considering coming to the NBL as a more viable way of making it into the NBA? Uh, yeah, back in California, there's a lot of people talking now, you know, considering it. So, yeah, that's good. And I know one of your friends, RJ Hampton's over in New Zealand yeah. at the moment. What kind of conversations have you had with him? Uh, pretty much that he just landed. It's cool. He's having a good time too. So he like it. You looking forward to coming up against him? Yeah. Did you look at those Camelo guys like Terence Ferguson? He's obviously a starter. Oh yeah, T-Ferg. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, did you, does that help you make a decision to come here? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, some people came from the States. So yeah, obviously it works. Stay in the league. So I trust it. Yeah. Did you know any of the players out there before you came here today? Uh, just JB. That's pretty much it. Um, Pliny, it seems like the Hawks have an, almost an unprecedented level of NBA experience around the club this year with Aaron Brooks, uh, yeah. Boone, Anderson, uh, Jermaine Jackson as, as Melo's caretaker as well. Uh, what's that bring to you as a coach? Oh, it's, yeah, that's fantastic for us, you know. And uh, look, we're the NBL, the, the NBA talent that we brought in only bodes well to help our younger guys, and, and you know. You know, it's not just Lamelo who has aspirations to do great things in the sport. You know, Angus Glover, um, Sam Frolling, Daniel Greeter. We've got some other young guys who are really have great careers ahead of them. So to be able to learn from guys who have actually been through that pathway. Um, you alluded to before a rookie coach as well, you know, like just to learn from, you know, we really value veterans here. Um, and we also really develop in youth. So it's an exciting club to be a part of. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to uh, you know, certainly lean on them and we're going to have a good senior leadership group, that's for sure. We're looking forward to Aaron coming in. Um, the combination that Lamelo and Angus and, and Emmett Nahr and, and Aaron Brooks are going to develop is, on Sunday is going to be great. So, um, you know, look, it's exciting times. We're, we're not getting ahead of ourselves by any means. We know how talented this league is. And um, yeah, but we certainly will be drawing on all the experience we could get from guys who have been there and done it. And Melo, we saw there at the end a bit of a dunk off with Angus Glover. Um, is, is it nice to have a bloke like Angus who's also trying to make prove his point in the NBL? Yeah, most definitely. You know, so he's gonna work hard, push me to work harder, and then we both just gonna work hard. Thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Appreciate your time. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Melo. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Melo.
Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.